Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is Take Two. I'm here with Richie Dunn. We're in at Kells FC for the Festival of Football. Uh, Richie, how are you? Straight up touch. <laughs> uh, how are you enjoying being uh, coming around, meet all the clubs uh, around the, the county? And uh, what's the reception been like for yourself? It's been brilliant. It's been really nice. The uh, the clubs are, are very excited. I think to have the whole FAI group down, and it's um, it's been nice yesterday. Said it was sunny, but um, ended up lashing at the end of the afternoon. But today's been great, and the uh, yeah, the future of Irish football looks safe down and uh, down in mid. Yeah, but speaking of the future of Irish football, obviously we spoke about the under 19s and how they're doing so well. What, what's your thoughts been on it? They obviously lost 12 players. They're into the semi-finals, but overall, what's been your thoughts on them? I think it's been excellent. It's been a great achievement for them. They've they probably could have sulked and, and felt sorry for themselves the fact they lost so many players, but they've they've knuckled down. They've performed really well and. They find themselves now in a semi-final, which hopefully the whole country will be behind them and supporting them. And if we can get through that, then it's crossed, you never know, in the final. Yeah, and, and as I said previously, it's just a shame that some of the players that probably would have influenced the next game are out through suspension. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't do anything about it now. Hopefully they'll plug on and do well. But just in terms of the, um, the men's team, um, I spoke to you and you were inducted into the Hall of Fame um, back in RTE, I think it was April. Uh, before the games, we, um, and, and Mick obviously came back. What's been your thoughts on how he's done so far? I think he's done well. I think he's changed the atmosphere around the group. I think it's much more a positive. <clears throat> looks like a more positive group. Um, the players seem to be to be smiling again, and I think that was important. And probably from the football side of it, he's he's done what we would have hoped and expected. He's got ten points and set ourselves up for a, a decent run at trying to get one of those automatic qualification places. Yeah, something I actually was meant to ask you when I was talking to you there, um, just in regards, how big of an influence do you think Robbie Keane is uh, on the team there as well as Mick? I think he's. I think he'll be a big influence. I think Robbie's. Um, He'll be a player's friend, you know. He'll be a link between the manager and the players, and the, he's still got a lot of friends in the squad. And the players will feel very comfortable in in going and speaking to Robbie and making sure that away from the pitch that the players are happy. And yeah, I think it was a, a good a good appointment by Mick, and I'm sure Robbie will do really well in it. Yeah, and I asked you about Shane Duffy, and I was just saying a lot of fans would compare him a lot to you. How do you feel about him? Like he's obviously a fantastic player, but what are your thoughts on him as a player, and obviously for Ireland? I think he's I think he's done really well for Ireland. I think um, we spoke about players having big moments in campaigns, and I think Shane is full of them. He does big tackles and wins strong headers, and he scores goals, which is it's always important for a defender as well. And, Hopefully now we can he can be a leader to, to to force our way into a into the Euros, which is I suppose the ultimate dream having the Euros in, in Dublin and Shane will be a big part of that of that if we get there. Absolutely, and and obviously now we're coming in, we've got a couple of big games. How do you see them faring out? Fingers crossed, we win them. You know the 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 sort of foundations being set in the group. I think the players will understand what Mick wants from them, and we can't we can't be worried about about these opposition teams we have to be able to go and beat them and if you want to qualify and actually do something when we do get to the Euros winning games big games at home is important and we've got an opportunity to do that this year and obviously the crowd will play a big factor in that <laughs> we're getting there as well um, well Lucy thanks very much for, I know you took a second time out to come back and, and talk to me but thank you very much for your time no and uh, enjoy the much. rest of your day here Ari thanks thank very you. much at the Festival of Football down in uh, Kells FC with Man City and Ireland player Megan Campbell. Megan, how nice is it to be travelling around, I suppose, to Meads, um, visiting all the different clubs, being an ambassador for the AFA? Yeah, it's a, it's a great week and it's great to see the grassroots football around, it, around the whole of Meads. Uh, we're having a great week. Obviously, the weather wasn't too good yesterday, but thankfully it's picked up a bit today. And yeah, just enjoying seeing all the clubs and what they have to offer and, and hopefully that the FAI can help with the funding and stuff to, that goes in with this festival. Yeah, um, obviously it's, it's coming into a, a good period for Irish football at the minute now with the under 19 is doing so well. Yeah. Um, kind of, obviously you guys are going to be coming up playing now you're without a manager. How are you kind of feeling about that at the minute? Uh, yeah, it was unfortunate when it happened that Colin Bell uh, stepped away and he's, I wish him all the luck in the world at Huddersfield this season and further in his career. But um, I think we're just looking forward now to hopefully getting a new manager in and looking forward to Montenegro at home basically on the 3rd of September and that's our main focus is we, we still haven't lost the focus of wanting to qualify for our first major tournament we hope that Euro 2021 in England will be the place where we've ever well we first make it 
Yeah, there seems to be a, a right buzz. Obviously, the Women's World Cup has just played there, and there was a, a huge amount of following behind that now. Um, last time I caught up with you, I'd say it was over, over a year ago or so when you were injured. Yeah. Uh, you've come back. Um, I believe it was the FA Cup you won? Yes, we won the FA Cup in Wembley against West Ham. It was a great day. I was thankful to be on the bench again. I didn't think I'd be back in time for it. So for me personally, it was just lovely to be on the bench again um, and be involved. And then we won the League Cup as well, which the Continental Cup, they call it in England. And we we're unfortunate not to not to win the league to Arsenal. But if you're ever going to lose the league, then I'm, I'm happy that my teammates of Louise Quinn and, and yeah. Katie McCabe won it. So it was a nice day for them, but not nice for Man City to not win it. And personally, obviously, you want to win it. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a good no, you're all right. Um, but absolutely, but uh, you, like as you say, um, the chance to qualify for Euro 21. How important that would it be for the fans? Now, obviously, we were saying there about the women's uh, football growing. What would be your message, say, to the fans, women's fans or male, um, that way you'd want to see come down? Well, I think from watching the World Cup and the figures that have watched it on RT and TG Car, it shows that the interest is there within Ireland to watch women's football now. And um, I'd just say as best as you can to get out and support us as a nation because we want to get there as much as all the fans want to probably see us there and, and represent in our nation. So the more support that we can get and the backing from you guys within the FAI as well, Obviously, um, that can push us on, but I think a lot of the ownership has to come down to us as players now because for too long we haven't qualified and uh, we now have everything and all the resources available and there's a lot more players playing professional level. So uh, we need to look at ourselves and, and put those performances in now to, to get us to England 2021. Well, definitely, I know we'll be there supporting you. Yeah, listen, it's great to see you back to full health as well, all right? Thank Thanks very much for your time, all right? Cheers, Paul. Cheers, Thank nice you. one. I'm here at Kells FC with their chairman, Brendan Lynch. Brendan, firstly, thanks very much for having us down here today. You're very welcome. Um, How nice is having the likes of uh, Megan Campbell and obviously Richie Dunn coming down, uh, visiting the club and stuff. This is fantastic. It's fantastic for the the kids to see it. You can see now today we've I'd say there must be 60, 70 kids there, which is very good considering the time slot we were given. Do you know what I mean? We thought we might struggle with that a bit, but as it turns out, it's actually better than we ever thought we were going to get. We're blessed with the weather. Yesterday, God loved them. Everyone was washed out of it, so we're blessed with that. But no, it's great. It's great to see the association coming down to small clubs like ourselves, you know what I mean, and maybe listen to what plans we have, what we intend doing in the future and things like that. So, no, it is. It's, we're well impressed, well impressed. And uh, I, was, I was speaking to you beforehand and you were saying that there's an upcoming tournament for, for yeah, your club yeah, there as well. Yeah, we have what's, our own tournament now. It starts on the, the weekend of the 10th of August. So it's the 10th, 11th, 17th, 18th and 24th and 25th of August. It's one of, if not the largest in Leinster at the minute. We get teams from all over. We actually have teams coming down from Donegal, all the West coming over. We've a lot of the big Dublin clubs come down. What it is, it's very well run. You can see it's a small bit of what we do here today, but it's the tournament is run very well by our secretary, Patrick Matthews. So without Patrick, the tournament just wouldn't go ahead. He just he, he does a Trojan of work. Doesn't get half the credit he deserves, you know what I mean, for the likes of that. But uh, yeah, it's an exciting tournament. Plenty of good winners, Cherry Orchard, all these teams come down. So it's good. So if anyone wants to pop down any of them dates, they're more than welcome. What, what are the exact dates? 10th, 10th 11th. 17th, 18th, and 24th, 25th of August. But if they go on to our Facebook page, all the dates and everything will be there. Okay, well, we'll make sure to share this on, the, on our Facebook no page problem. and Thank tag you. us in it. So, yeah. Brendan, thanks very much for your time. Best yep. of luck with the terms and best of luck with the rest of today. Okay, Thank Got you the very much. For it. Thank you. All Cheers. Right. Thank you.